Length. Ramesh bought a cricket bat. He wanted to know the length of the bat. He measured the length using hand span. It was four times the length of his hand span. His teammate Robert also measured the same bat with his hand span. It was about four and a half times of his hand span. How is it possible that the hand span is different in both the people? This is because Robert's hand is smaller than Ramesh's. Therefore, his hand measured it to be four and a half times of his hand span. Can same object have two different lengths? No, that is not possible. Then what is the correct method of measuring length? You have learned how to measure the length of various objects using hand span, cubit, fathom, foot span, etc. They are not standard measurements. The measures vary when we use non-standard units. Hence, to know the exact length of the objects, we need a standard unit. The standard unit of measuring length of objects is meter. Meter is denoted by small m in short. To measure long distance, the standard units used are decameter, hectometer and kilometer. To measure short lengths, the standard units used are decimeter, centimeter and millimeter. Let us know more about these standard units of length. Usually the word deca, hecto, kilo, deci, centi and milli are prefixed or put before the word meter. This shows the place value of the unit which represents a part of a meter. Hence, let us first know the meaning of these units. The standard units for greater length are decameter or deca is 10 times a meter. Hectometer or hecto is 100 times a meter. Kilo is 1000 times a meter. So when we say that the distance is 1 kilometer, that means it is equal to 1000 meters. The standard units for smaller length are, if we take meter, decimeter or deci is one tenth of a meter. Centi would be one hundredth of a meter and milli would be one thousandth of a meter. So the other way to interpret this is, 10 decimeters is equal to 1 meter or 1 meter is 1 tenth or 1 by tenth of a decimeter. Similarly, 1000 millimeters is equal to 1 meter. Comparison of greater standard units of length with 1 meter. So, as we have seen, 10 times 1 meter or 10 meters is equal to 1 decameter. 100 meters is equal to 1 hectometer and 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer. Comparison of smaller standard units of length with 1 meter is as shown here. 1 by 10th of a meter is equal to 1 decimeter. 1 by 100th of a meter is equal to 1 centimeter and 1 by 1000th of a meter is equal to 1 millimeter. Or the other way is 1 meter is equal to 10 decimeters, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. The common standard units of length used in daily life are shown here. 1 kilometer is equal to 1000 meters, 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters. How do we get 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters? We know that 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters and 1 meter is equal to 1000 millimeters. So we can say that 100 centimeters is equal to 1000 millimeters which means 1 centimeter is equal to 1000 by 100 
millimeters which is equal to 10 millimeters conversion of unit from one length to the other to convert greater units of length into smaller units of length the rules are as follows to convert kilometers into meters multiply by thousand to convert meters into centimeters multiply by hundred to convert centimeters into millimeters you multiply by 10 so in order to convert greater units of length into smaller units we should multiply let us understand this with the help of some examples how many meters make two kilometers we know that one kilometer is equal to thousand meters therefore two kilometers is equal to thousand into two which is equal to two thousand meters therefore 2000 meters make 2 kilometers how many centimeters make 4 meters now 1 meter is equal to 100 centimeters therefore 4 meters is equal to 100 into 4 which is equal to 400 centimeters how many millimeters make 12 centimeters now 1 centimeter is equal to 10 millimeters and therefore 12 centimeters is equal to 10 into 12 which is equal to 120 millimeters now let us see how to convert smaller units of length into greater units in order to convert meters to kilometers you divide the given number by thousand to convert centimeters to meters you divide the given number by hundred and to convert millimeters to centimeters you divide the given number by 10 so in order to convert smaller units of length into greater units we should divide observe the following examples convert 3000 meters to kilometers now 1000 meters is equal to 1 kilometer Therefore, 3000 meters is equal to 3000 divided by 1000, which is equal to 3 kilometers. Convert 575 centimeters into meters. We know that 100 centimeters is equal to 1 meter. Therefore, 575 centimeters is equal to 575 divided by 100, which is equal to 5.75 meters convert 400 millimeters into centimeters we know that 10 millimeters is equal to 1 centimeter therefore 400 millimeters is equal to 400 divided by 10 which is equal to 40 centimeters